<laughs> We're playing at St. Grievan's this afternoon. Because yeah, it's, uh, it's also known as the Chapel on the Sea and you can only get there at low tide. So there's a very specific window in which we can do this gig. But I think we should make it on time. Yeah, Hopefully, we before the tide comes back in. <laughs> well, we better go. Yeah. Hello. Hello! We are Filkins Drift, a folk duo from Cardiff and Gloucestershire. And we've decided to make our next tour more sustainable. So we're walking all 870 miles of the Wales coast path. We're playing over 45 concerts and we'll be meeting some inspiring artists and community leaders along the way. Got the, it's in the old chip rack up there. I think it's called the Manx Rose. I guess we're not far from the Isle of Man. Did you think it came from there or was going to there or something? From the Isle of Man? Yeah. Yeah. I'll say yes. Absolutely. I know. What did you say? You had a really good way of saying that we've taken all the blackberries from North Wales. We've absolutely rinsed the North Wales coast <laughs> of its blackberry supply. There are no more. <laughs> but we found quite a good way of eating them now. Here we go. Pop over the head, in the mouth. Ready? Hey. No, oh, one more. Oh, one more. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it was actually fine, don't worry mum. <laughs> Straight down your stuff. <laughs> oh that was a really tasty one as well. I regret I regret it that way. We're in quite a significant spot here, which is beautiful Bulls Bay where, according to my parents, I uh, took my first tentative steps 25 years ago. Uh, and now here we are, having just crossed our, having probably just recently done our quarter of a millionth step for the week. <laughs> and for the tour in total, so. What do you think your parents would, do you think they would have had any idea that you were going to do this when you took those first steps down on the, on the, on the little coast down probably there? Probably not. <laughs> and to be fair, I didn't have any idea I would do this less than a year ago. <laughs> uh, that was very true, that was very true. But yes, from those little steps to, uh, I mean they're still quite little steps, so I haven't, <laughs> Yeah. but uh, there's lots of them. Yeah, the steps themselves haven't changed size. No, but no, this is great, I can see birds diving for fish and a man on some sort of amazing floating propeller powered surfboard, which is kind of cool, which I'm sure has a name. Yeah, very sweet. And if we're lucky, we'll see him fall. <laughs> Just like I did 25 years ago <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, I think that's the church. Where? Over there. Oh, that? Yeah. Where we're playing? I'm pretty sure. 
And that is, what's it called again? Eglis Clambadric, which means uh, it's like the holy place of St. Patrick. Ah. And apparently that's where they think St. Patrick landed when he came over from Ireland. That is right on the edge, isn't it? It's amazing. If I was St. Patrick, I'd be pretty chuffed. That's <laughs> what, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the nuclear power plant, yeah. <laughs> there we go, and immediately we're walking away from the church, oh. as is the way of the coast path. The really special gigs where they're just like right as close as you can possibly get to the sea. Oh, how do you get in? You see the dolphins? Yeah, incredible. Putting on a show there, huh? Not, not too far today. On the edge, eh? Yeah, we're yeah. walking the whole coast path in two months. Really? And we're doing gigs along the way. So it's worked out very well. It's about the closest we've been to the coast path, aren't there? Because it's, it's a lovely turf. Are you doing it for charity or are you, are you yeah. just doing it? Are you just doing it to pay away? No, you no. Um, they're doing it to raise money for a charity. Um, Chris and Seth have helped them out in the past. They go into hospitals and am I remembering this correctly? Yeah, yeah, you've they help heard them, it all the time. Yeah, they help um, women suffering with postnatal depression through right. music. They right. So they, they've, they've done work with the charity in the past that they're involved, but the charity is what they're raising the money for. Thank you. Yeah. I think that was well. Thank you. Oh, we've just uh, left the most northerly village in Wales, which is uh, Chemai. So we had a really nice gig last night at um, uh, Llanbadrig Church, isn't it? So the Church of St. Patrick, where apparently he landed um, years and years and years ago. And we've just got to an interesting viewpoint. We've had so much just like uninterrupted coast. And we saw some dolphins yesterday, which is incredible. Um, what sort of dolphins were they, Freddie? I can't remember. They were, like, they were called uh, Risso's dolphins, and they sort of got like a funny-shaped head. <laughs> oh, yeah. Quite yes. rare, so it's really cool to see. I think. Yeah. There were loads of them, sort of twenty odd. Yeah, it was insane. I've All never seen dolphins surface, like that before. But now we've got to this view, which is Wilver Power Station. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a nuclear power station that doesn't make power anymore, but is uh, yeah in the process of being decommissioned. Quite beautiful. Yeah, it's sort of weird. Industrial yeah. Way. Yeah. <laughs> and I think Seth was joking, me and Freddie were like, yeah, <laughs> like, I can see it. But it was interesting talking to um, Naomi, the vicar, last night, and she was saying, you know how loads of these villages like were in Amluk yesterday, which was sort of built up around the copper trade, and that went, you know, decades ago, and it's now quite quiet. This is kind of a more recent version of that, Chemice. Loads and loads and loads of people across, like, different different levels of work, like, you know, really, really top engineers um, are working here and, you know, everyone through like catering staff and everything like that. But now they hardly need anyone when it's decommissioned. So it's another big, a big local employer that's gone. How long? How many hundreds of years before like we passed the old brickworks and it's like, oh, wow, I would have loved to see it in its yeah. day and everyone working there. Do you think in 200 years time? There'll be walkers. <laughs> wow, Maybe. it's such a shame we've lost this. It would have been such a pillar of the community. Yeah. I mean, even just saying that, I feel a bit like that now. <laughs> I, I think it might take a while to catch on. But yeah, I think definitely, like, yeah, because it's all part of this history, isn't it? Yeah. We've got, yeah, quite a significant point in the tour now, really, because as I say, we've reached the most northern point. So from now on, we sort of turn the corner and... Head south. Head southwards. Yeah, for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> well, until... <laughs> until eventually we'll head east. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah until the Gower, right? Yeah, until more or less. Yeah. 
Oh no. Pembrokeshire. Pembrokeshire. Yeah. Right, let's head south. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Coast path goes through the ferry terminal. We're in Hollyhead now. Do you think this is the only bit of coast path that's indoors? Yeah, official indoors coast path. So we're here at the Nostalgia Centre uh, with the wonderful Eve Goodman, who is the first of our collaborative concerts uh, that we're going to be doing across this tour. And uh, we've managed to catch five minutes before we go on stage to uh, ask Eve a few questions about her, her music and her life. And how important is a sense of place in your music? I'd say it's really important. Um, I, I feel like nature is my number one muse, and I'm really lucky to live by the Menai Strait, which is um, this incredible body of water that separates mainland Cumberland from Unismore and Anglesey, where we are now, which you will walk along at some point in your journey. Oh, yeah. um, and so, yeah, I, I feel really lucky to live right next to that. That is my outside view. And I grew up next to the Menai as well. So um, it's been a huge kind of part of informing my creativity, just being by that ever changing kind of mysterious body of water. So we've just come, just come up from Hollyhead. See the ferry port down there. Last night was a very lovely gig with Eve Goodman. Oh yeah, in fact, there's some there's some a nice video about her that should be out already. And we're now looking back over Snowdon, Hollyhead Mountain, which the path doesn't go up, and I don't think we're going to climb. No, not today. Not today. But it's amazing how far we can see all around Anglesey where we've come from in the last week. And we can see right down to Bardsey Island. It might not come across in the camera, right on the end of the Slean Peninsula. And we'll be passing there almost exactly a week from now to the minute if we get a move on. So technically, if we're walking the coast path, <laughs> we need to do all round there. Well, we'll check the route, we'll see if it... Doesn't look, doesn't look too steep, <laughs> though. actually takes us there. But this should be a nice little spot for some... Uh, the old nuts and water break, I reckon. We're not the only people to have had that idea. I want to know, some man in a high-vis jacket down there, 
Is he just a walker? Or is he taking money? Yeah. Ah. Can you go in, maybe? Yeah, there's loads of people up yeah, there. Yeah, there's people up there. And this morning, we had an amazing ride around the little model railway. Yeah, that was not what I was expecting to happen the on this trip. That we're, so we're staying in various people's houses and strange places along this route. So if anyone wants to put us up, very welcome to. <laughs> Only if you have a seven and three quarter gauge model railway. Yes, please. Thank you. That's a, yeah, it's on our rider now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. A requirement of any accommodation. A ride on a train is on our rider. Please. Tell me, there's better pun than that there, isn't there? <laughs> so this morning we got up way earlier than usual. We're all a bit bleary eyed still and delirious. Chris can't see. Um, <laughs> we're playing at St. Guivans this afternoon mm. as opposed to an evening gig. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's also known as the Chapel on the Sea and you can only get there at low tide. So there's a very specific window in which we can do this gig and then we'll all have to walk back together with the audience. But I think we should make it on time. Today. We've got a couple hours left. It's sold out. So we're all going to walk over with the audience. And walk back, which would be lovely. And walk back. The whole, whole experience with them. So, yeah, Hopefully be before the tide comes back in. So, well, we better go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we're here at uh, St. Quivan's uh, today for our concert and uh, we've got Reverend Vince Morris uh, here with us who's been uh, a minister in this uh, ministry area for about two years. Um, and we thought we'd just ask you a couple of questions about the church, if that's all right. Yeah. Um, first off, how, how and why is this church here? <laughs> well, the how um, is that there's been a church on this site for, since about 650 AD. Um, the why, um, as for the current building, is that uh, the story goes there was a little falling out between the, com the communities around here and Aberfrau, and they decided to build their own church on the site of an earlier church. So this is, um, the, the bottom layer is 12th century and it goes through 14th, 15th century, wow. and beyond that. Um, it's dedicated to St Quivan, um, and we don't know a lot about him, other than he founded a monastery on the other side of the Irish Sea. Um, in the Wicklow Mountains and probably came here around about 650. So this island, as we're standing on at the moment, um, isn't a natural island, it's been caused by erosion. Um, okay. So over the centuries um, the sea has retreated and retreated and retreated to where the current shoreline is um, and the island has emerged. So to speak. Oh wow, so originally it was part of the mainland. Originally and... this was a headland and you can see you know, the volcanic rock there yeah. that, that indicates the sort of bedrock for it. Getting here would be a lot easier. Getting here would be <laughs> a lot easier in those days, yeah. But there's still services here. Yep, there are still uh, services throughout the summer. Um, we start in Easter, we finish end of September. Um, there are weddings here, there are baptisms here. On the odd occasion there's a funeral here, but that causes a little bit more uh, difficulty, but uh, it, it can be done. Um, and, you know, it's one of those uniquely special places where no matter what time of year you, you come here, there is always someone here, um, you know, getting close to, to God and being spiritual um, in this place. Um, so it's a very, very special place. Wow. And what's it like generally being a, a vicar in this sort of area where you're, you're spread across a few different churches and a church like this, and then presumably some more that are based in the heart of communities? Yeah, uh, I've, I've, there are nine churches um, that make up the ministry area of St. Quivans, of Bro Quivan. Um, here and all the way through to not too far from where you've been in Kamais and, and, and places like that. Um, they range from 
you know, this building, which is, as I say, you know, predominantly 12th and 14th century. Uh, there's another one at the top end, which is also dates to the 6th century. There are some moderner buildings, i.e. Victorian. Uh, and then there are a couple of medieval churches um, in the hearts of the community. But, you know, this has a community all of its own, if that mm. makes sense. And it's a drawn community from, from around the world. Um, so we have people coming here from, literally, I have inquiries for people who want to come here from as far as the field as Japan, Korea. Uh -huh. um, because it's a designated dark sky site, we have um. astronomers come here um, to photograph the Milky Way, stuff like that. So we get, we get literally thousands of requests for people to come and see wow. us. Wow. <laughs> well, we're glad to be here today. Oh, we're delighted to have you. Absolutely delighted to have you. Thank you. I cannot get over and neither have I wings to fly. Time you get to yeah. get get right well, way down. We're about to leave um, Anglesey, so it feels like we've got we've got we know everyone on the island now. <laughs> but we'll be yeah, in a whole other yeah. world. Yeah, yeah. When that it's goes, like, like, it's just it's just been so much fun though. Oh, um, yeah, nice so <laughs> so you're walking the whole of Anglesey then? Yeah. So um, although like loads and loads of people do it every single year, which is phenomenal, we're doing it from. So the first day we went Hollyhead, over Hollyhead Mountain, down oh, yeah. into Triada Bay, and then got a, got a cheeky lift back to Hollyhead. And that was our first day. And now we're on our last day. So we can see Hollyhead Mountain. <laughs> yeah, the loop it's is nearly there. complete. Yeah. It is there. Yeah. But we also, we're not, you know, we're not daft enough to realize that there's about 15 miles between us and Hollyhead Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Looks really close and I wish I had a canoe. It's right there. I could just sail there. In maybe an hour, <laughs> but yeah, we're we're walking the entire coastal path. Yeah, a bit like you guys, really. Yeah, I mean, we're just doing the little bit. Still the coast path, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. And you're raising money as well. We are. We're doing it. For, um, so we run a charity. We started a charity called Coffee for Craig. Yeah. Um, Craig was my brother. He died on the streets in Cardiff, and we're ten years. Um, this month we've been going so we're, we're doing this to not celebrate 10 years so we should because we shouldn't we shouldn't be still going really we run um, a seven night a week drop-in for people who are sleeping on the streets in Manchester yeah. and they can come in get food get support get a smile yeah. boxer shorts socks and um, we, we support them through their journey, sort of hopefully coming out of the other end of homelessness and we work with the other charities in Manchester. So, yeah, doing this little jaunt, this little walk to, wow. to not celebrate and hopefully raise lots of funds to help us keep supporting the guys. Yeah, it's a phenomenal cause and a oh, great idea you. to raise money as well. <laughs> yeah. How can people donate if they want to give some um, money? If you follow us on all social media, we're just Coffee for Craig, number yeah. four. Um, you can look us up on our, on our website and there's lots of donation buttons. We've got our total giving, which is, I, I, do we know the web address? I don't know. Uh, Totalgiving.co.uk and then just search Coffee for Craig and we've got loads of different people doing various fundraisers um, and they're all interconnectable from that one platform. Yeah. Um, and ours is on there. Lovely. It's the, the Wales Walk, I whopping think we called it. Welsh whopping. Walk. Yeah. Well, the whopping Welsh Walk. <laughs> it is it's a bit of a whopper. Well. It is. Last day. Long trains. Yeah. 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 No training. And now we're thinking, right, what we're going to do when we get home? No, you're Just thinking. sit down. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, planning what planning we, next year. Absolutely. What, what we're going to do when we get home is going to start following you and like... 
being like, yeah, go. Cause Little I think cheerleader. What you guys are doing is <laughs> you guys, phenomenal. Yeah, incredible. I know. I feel very so fangirly because we've been told all about you all around the island. So. Oh. <laughs> it's such an honour to meet you. Oh, well, I, I wish you all the luck on the, your last day. Thank you very Power much. Power on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thanks. So we're coming to the end of week two. But apparently this is a big emotional and physical hurdle. Is it? The two week hurdle? Yeah, as they make, say. It, make it through two weeks. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> we're a quarter, quarter of the way through. And it feels quite sort of, I feel like we've conquered Anglesey. Like it's been so good in Anglesey. It has been incredible. And like, because we, we're walking in a big loop, we've got to know so many lovely people. Yeah, um, we've never been that far away from, for like a few days, we've been pretty close to to everywhere, really, that we've yeah. been. So, yeah. yeah. And it's, it feels like we're really in a nice community. And we know lots of people and lots of people know us. Definitely. We've bumped into people just on the street, haven't we? Like, yeah. all pull out in their cars and be like, oh, nice gig, or, oh, we're going to see you soon. Yeah, the people have been so kind here. Yeah, it's going to be weird to be back on the mainland, I think. <laughs> yeah. To get the, the whole, actually, a whole wider Wales out there. It's kind of sad to be leaving our little Anglesey world. But, yeah, so but we've done well. We've done a lot of miles. We've done the full loop. And no injuries other than my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> and my knee. And your knee. But we're in, uh, Freddie's all right. I think well. Touch wood. Are you emotionally in... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Emotionally injured at all? I don't think so. I think my, I don't know, I, my heart is full of Anglesey and uh, just everything. The people, the places. It's just a, such an adventure that we're on. I can't wait for the rest of it. That's nice, Freddie, that you did a little sign off there. Let's call <laughs> it there. Full <laughs> stop, they said.